right, we're gonna row for 24 hours. These poor souls are going with us. And go! Rich, tell me. And then you're starting to row? I'm starting to row. You keep moving. Number one. Thing every time I'm member one. Ben Davidson, member two. Scott Vanderson, member three. All right, the very fun video you're about to watch is us sitting on a rower for 24 hours. Why would we do that, one might say. Well, we did it to support our friend, Brian Shantosh. Um, real cool dude. They did the uh, cross Atlantic row, I think it was 30 something days. I think it was the first place American team. Pretty awesome. Um, if you want to check out that whole story, check out Rogue's uh, documentary they did called The Standard. So Rogue did a 24 hour, one, two, three, or four person team. We committed to doing this on a podcast. So then we had to do it. So enjoy. Good morning. Yeah, tell the people our strategy. Our strategy is five Ks between three of us for 24 hours. So 24 five Ks each, and hoping to hold a two minute or better pace, which will keep us on the hour. If we'll hold it. We'll see. These suck. How was the first one? Uh, the gloves are terrible. They're not good. They're too small in all the wrong areas. Uh, we'll see. Huh. How many meters are you? Me personally or my team? Your team? 17,500. He's on one shift? One shift, yep. You feel good? Oh, I feel great. Every 30 minutes is the way to go. We'll probably get 400,000 meters by the end of it. So. <laughs> You think it's better because we put it on a four? No. I think I just want to rush. These gloves are way better. It's row at whatever your average is, or a little faster. Yeah, get the average up. No, lower. No. Up. Hey. Faster, rabbit. Mike. Faster. Rabbit season. Huh? Rabbit season. Hey. Why are you doing this? It's for the kids. It's veterans. It could be veterans. There's kids up, veterans. Uh, like and subscribe. I busted it. Do I know how? A girl bit it. I wish. A boy bit it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Paul. <laughs> Have a four hour check in and see how far off we are of pace. Plus or minus? Plus or minus. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna write whatever meters we're at. Hey, I've got the four hour, every four hours here to, for check in. One six? That's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, pretty good actually. It's like the last thousand meters every time. Yeah. I don't think I'm eating enough. <laughs> what are we doing here? I am uh, rolling out my so ads with the so right. It's just hidden down in there. Or in my back somewhere. How do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good. I feel kind of drained, to be honest. I think I've we've done five. Now we're starting six. Just wanna, if I can hold my pace for 12 hours, like a like the two minute pace for 12 hours, I think we'll be all right. Rich looks fine. Yeah, Rich is fine. Chris is not fine. He's wearing a belt now, and he is he was. I don't know if you call it pulling, it's like he was in his hands and he was like moving his legs back and forth. Chris, 
Who's the first person to quit? Uh, can I put the money on myself? Seems like an easy bet to win, you know what I'm saying? Why are you even that? Oh, my back hurts, I'm old. I'm the oldest one here. Like, in spirit, I mean, I'm 31. You cannot say even in age you're not the oldest. I've got way more wear and tear on my body than you have. He's been working out for years. That strengthens. Quarter of the way through. I am, technically, yeah. but not. I'm saying you are. But our team is not. So how do you feel? I feel great. I don't think Ben feels good. Really? You heard him? Thanks. This is just the survive form, you know? I can just survive. Whoop day, 18.5 overall. And that's that's uh, six 5Ks in, which theoretically, hopefully, is about a quarter of the way done. Maybe. Um, yeah. According to Whoop, the last one was my hardest one. Didn't feel like it, but apparently it was. Are you going to plunge? Uh, I'm good right now. I don't need it. All right. Yeah. You? Yeah, I'm going to go. Where you're heading? Yeah. Third of the way. Why was that one hard? You're stressing me out. I mean, it wasn't. I think they all feel hard when you're on the road, and then when you get off, you're like, oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? You get a little panicky, a little like, dang it, and then you're good. We're just looking at. I mean, we're running out of time. <laughs> What are you trying to do with the movies? Uh, so really, if we don't end on Endgame, I mean, it just feels wrong. Okay. So we're trying to triage as best we can. You can't get a, you can't really get rid of Thor Ragnarok. Uh, no, no, no. You can't. I just oh, right. said, I thought you said. Oh, geez. We should put. Hey, we should put Thor: Love and Thunder on the list. Oh no, I don't love that one. Uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. You have to have that. Black Panther's a classic. Uh, and then, I mean, we've got the Avengers, Civil War. Why don't you War. get rid of Avengers Age of Ultron? Uh, you can't do that because, I mean, that's like, you've got to keep the core Avengers movies in there. Do you have to shave? Um, I would say that we'd probably have to cut out, if we could cut out like two to three hours, we could at least get into Endgame. It'd be cool if we could end on Endgame, but I don't know if we're up for doing that math. <laughs> look, but look at this. I've only got two left. I got a log in the truck. Was it? One hundred twenty-two thousand one hundred nine meters. That eight hours. You know how far ahead of pace we are? Two thousand one hundred nine meters. Huh? Update me. Um, like, how am I feeling out of 10? Yeah. 6.9. 6.9 pain? Perfect. Good. Both. 6.9. Mentally, I'm like a 10 out of 10. Okay. My back, like 6.9 out of 10 pain, you know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're going that fast because the camera's on. Oh, okay. When you go away, it's going to go to like 2.30. Alright, alright, I'll go away. Uh, <laughs> Our team name is Mountain Valley Fitness, but on the DL, 
They call us uh, the Robe Bros. Team of four. four. Mm -hmm. And how you guys doing at the eight-hour mark? Uh, we're sitting where we want to be. Sub two-minute pace every round. Rich is still beating us, though. Can't win out here. Well, our goal is to just stay sub two minutes the entire time. Um, and that should land us around hopefully a little over 355,000, which I think is the current record right now. So we had a lot of snacks. We had a lot of Uncrustables. We had some cereal. We had people brought in some donuts, which was very helpful. We had some pizza, which was not so helpful. Uh, that was my fault. We had some Chick-fil-A. Uh, there was a lot of eating. What we found out was your optimal time to eat was as soon as you got off the rower. Um, because you wanted that food to get out of your stomach. Like a nice hat. Rowing is a very hard activity to eat, to eat during. Um, when I bike, it's pretty easy. That was not Ooh, very much fun nice. because you're sitting in this crouch position. So there was a lot of calories consumed. I'm not exactly sure how many. Um, it's about the same as it has the last four. Two or three bowls of cereal, several Uncrustables, a couple so Chick-fil-A sandwiches, uh, a couple oh halves of donuts. Goodness. Um, lots of gummies, lots of Lifesaver gummies, some Sour Patch Kids. What else? Caffeine. Caffeine, yeah. Who knows, probably not healthy to do physically, but um, I think mentally, fun, cool challenge. Cool, cool when you're finished. One of those challenges you're happy you did when you're finished, not during. Testing, testing. Ben, we're through 12 hours, and we are 2,500 90 meters ahead of pace. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm really glad we have a substantial lead because the pace for myself is falling off very hard. I felt stronger on my 10th, 11th, and 12th row than I did on my 9th. So I don't know what that means. I just ate two spicy chicken sandwiches and a chocolate shake from Chick-fil-A. Rich is yelling at Ben, so he has to go row now. I have about four minutes. I just want to say, I'm really happy it's eight o'clock and we're over the hump. It's past eight. So now there's just, now it's just this right here. But I also, even though I have children, I didn't know 8 p.m. could feel like 2 a.m. That's the update for now. But I'm making a good bounce. That's okay. The goal was to hold our pace through 12 hours and the new goal is 16 hours. Keep you updated on how that goes. Yeah. So then it goes back to Ben. Then we start back here, basically. From the top, I'll probably hold a better pace that way. I ain't worried about that. I'm just worried about it's starting to get tough. Uh, after 2500, it's starting to get real tough. Is this like a... Uh, I like that. If shit really hits the fan idea? If shit hits the fan, or maybe it like, after we do a couple more 5Ks. After we get to 15 5Ks, start this. And just see, one rotation at least. Yeah. Because worst case, if I would get 7500 rest here and I could jump back on a 5K. What? But. The more you say that, the more I'm out this morning. I'm down to party. All right, Ben. This is our new strategy. You're gonna finish this 5K, uh -huh. then I'm gonna finish my 5K. We'll then have completed 14 5Ks each. And then we're gonna start alternating 2,500 meters one to one. I think you go, Rich goes, you go, Rich goes, you go. And then I do four while you guys do one of each. Yeah. You like that? I love it. But then I get. Chris, what do you have to say for yourself? This is absolutely miserable. That's about all I got to say. And my forearm hurts. And my butt. And my back. And my abs. Oh, my abs hurt really bad too. Yeah.
It's too early to tell. 5K would have been really hard. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. So, plan was to hold 5Ks on the hour for 24 hours, which is difficult, would not be that difficult, except for your 5K had to be under 20 minutes to keep the pace that we needed to. That started getting very difficult in the middle of the night, so we, my brain went to this weird kind of 2500 um, format. Our, this was our initial rotation for the five, five Ks. So I went, it started, the way it started was I went one, Ben went, I went, Ben went. So then Scott jumps in and Ben has to do four 2500s, so 10, 10K from here. And then after Ben's fourth one, I jump in and then Scott jumps back in. And then I jump in, Scott jumps back in. And so then I would start doing four. After Scott's done his four, then Ben jumps back in. Then it's me and Ben go one to one. And so Scott gets kind of a quasi weird two minute or two rest, I guess, um, thing. And then it picks back up from the top. And basically I think it's like 30,000 meters. It works out to you're just doing me and Ben were doing four one-to-one -one rows, so 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off, and Scott had one random extra rest in there, but then would get, we'd all get equal amount of rest, but it was just shared a little bit differently. I don't know why my brain went to that. 2500s were way more manageable than the 5K was. And once we figured out that me or Ben were gonna end up with more meters, we then, after this last one, Scott jumped in, and then it just went, we did 2,500s, uh, one to two rest. How's your strategy paying off? Oh, uh, I felt way better, I felt good. Really? Yep. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, donuts are the hat to like, I don't know what you call it, but. Donut? Donuts. Because right. I feel better now than I have since like 5 p.m. All right. But not four. I can't eat four donuts too close together because it's all Ted Stark weathered at once. And you just blue chunks everywhere. <laughs> How are things like you, Chris? Slowly dying. Slow. Watkins is rowing a 227. Honestly, pretty good for him. He was at like 240. So. Is your body falling apart? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't real put together before this, but this certainly isn't helping. It's hour 16. We are 244,000 meters in. What do you have to say? Yup. Um, I'm on my fourth leg of my the new plan. I think I like the new plan better. I just think it sucks where we're at in the week, in the day, in the hours, in the whatever, wherever we are. I would agree I like the new plan. We have a 2,200 meter buffer. We'll see if we can hold it. That's it? We lost a little, huh? We only lost 200. All right, so we have eight hours not to lose it, huh? Yeah. Eight hours and a 2,200 meter buffer. I have faith. But my legs are gone, and my, my biceps are gone. Everything is gone. I'm not very tired, though. Sorry, I was asleep. <laughs> I don't know where we are or when we are, Ben. But I'm almost done. That is fight. Huh? He's fighting. <laughs> I'm a failure. Every pull is all I have. How far ahead are we, do you know? Uh, it's gonna be close. So we gotta get a 5k in the next 20 minutes to remain ahead. Which should, no, sorry, 20, 25, I don't know, no, 5k, right? No, 55k, 5500, sorry.
but we have 25 minutes. Should be there-ish. Scott's laying it all on the line. Ah! My fingers. Oh. My fingers hurt. Good morning, kid. I can't. Man, look at this. I can't unfold my fingers. This is, I literally cannot open them. They're stuck like this. Ow! Ah! Oh. Oh. Another stuck like that. Here's how we do them, bud. Um, 6.9 out of 10. Thanks, man. I'll be honest, I've been running pretty slow. Like, maybe the last, like, five hours, like a 2.30 pace. But, I'm here, you know? Yeah, that's how it is for is it, East, is it Easter yet? My group. Biggest Rip. thing. Yeah. How's the rest of your team doing? I'm hanging in there, man. Andy. Andy's a badass. I give she it is she. she is the only she, girl doing it, too. It's crazy. Josh is a good spirits. Josh is just a positive guy. How are we? Uh, good. Holding on. Holding on. That's all we can do now. Just endure it. Yeah. Price is suck. Everything hurts. <sighs> um, yeah, surprisingly, I am not tired. I feel great. Um, Body-wise, uh, alertness is probably like a 9 out of 10. Uh, the Marvel Marathon has definitely helped. I'm probably doing one of my most favorite things right now. Um, my butt really hurts, and that is just because of the inevitable friction of being on a rower seat for almost 18 hours at this point. So, my hands are doing pretty good. I haven't worn gloves or anything, just chalk. So, all in all, I'm feeling good. Three hundred sixty thousand nine hundred nine meters. Good job, gentlemen. Team name? Mayhem or die. Team of three. Team of three. Who is this hair? Rich Froning. Scott Vanderstoep. Ben K. Davidson. Ben Davidson. I think that's it. I hope that's it. How do you feel now that you're done? Surprisingly, okay. I'm just a relief. Yeah. I was really stressed we weren't going to get there. And that was most of my doing, to be fair. No. I'll go to battle with you guys. I don't really know how to process all this data. Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Um, how, many, how many rows do you have? I have, well, I mean, I have 14 5Ks. And then I think around here, nope, that was our last, our last 5K was at 5, 4 a.m.? That's not right? Sure. I blacked out. At some point, we started, <laughs> had some intervals on here. I don't know what happened. Blacked out. What was your highest one activity? Uh, 13.8. Oh, here we go. Here's some like, Oh wow. those are the 2500s, the four by 2500s I had. Total overall, 20.7. At some point too, I wish I wouldn't have deleted it, but Whoop told me it hadn't detected a sleep. Um, that I should add whatever I slept in a little bit. I too had a 20.7 and also I burned 11,609 calories. Which I think is a little low because, well, also I only burned 9,600. But I'm heavier. You didn't carry your body weight. Ipso facto, I had to work harder. You didn't hold your body weight. No, actually you worked less. You're taller My body and you're heavier. No, but I had to work more. No, not true. Because you're not supporting your body weight. If you were supporting your body weight on a run, yeah, I'd give you that. What was your calorie burn? It's a 96, 9700. I worked harder. 
Ipso facto.